All right. Hey, so welcome to our final assignment for this unit. Um, I know it seems kind of weird to say since we've only been back in school for a week, but here we are. So um, what you're going to be doing today is you're going to basically be kind of thinking about what has been the impact of the Industrial Revolution and how has it continued to kind of affect people today? So you're going to be looking at some of the issues that were going on then that are still happening today. And then you're also going to be thinking about has this been more positive or negative? So um, you are going to first start with just a quick check-in as we usually do. There's a little bit of instructions about what you're gonna be doing today. So first you're gonna be watching a video and doing a reading about a topic of your choice. Then you're gonna be actually making a meme. You're gonna be writing a paragraph and then there's seven multiple choice questions, not 10. I'm gonna change that right now, seven, short, nice and easy. So it's a lot of slides, but it's not that much work, I promise. So first thing you're gonna do is you're going to pick a topic that you are most interested in. You're just picking one, not all three, just one. So let's say for instance, you are most interested in child labor, it's gonna take you to the child labor section and this will be the only one that you do. So first you're gonna watch a movie, movie. First you're gonna watch a video and then you're gonna answer the reflection question. Then you are going to do a short reading. Well, it's a little bit of a longer reading, but that's it. This is the only reading we have. So it's three slides and there aren't any questions that go with the reading. However, you are required to annotate. So you need to highlight at least one main idea per slide in yellow, highlight, highlight at least one word you don't know in blue, and then define it by clicking on the plus symbol to add a comment. So for example, if you didn't know what, um, I'm trying to find a word that maybe we wouldn't know. Um, these are all pretty, pretty, let's say you didn't know what trafficking was. Um, so you would go, you can look it up, but if you didn't know what it meant, okay, it means to deal or trade in something illegal. So I would then go back and I would say deal and trade and whatever. Um, okay, so you're going to then also you have to write two comments about info that you find interesting by adding a comment as well. And then you're going to write one question about something. So that's what you're going to do. Um, you're going to be annotating all three of the slides for your reading. Um, then you're going to go on to part two. So you'll click here. Do not go on to the climate change one. If you did the first one, you don't need to go on to the second one. Same thing like if you did this one, you don't need to go back to it. Um, so then you're going to go to part two. Part two is you're going to be making a meme. So you're going to be making a how it started versus how it's going meme based on the issue that you read about. So for example, if you did one about child labor, we have the on this side, the how it started, the industrial revolution, and how it's going, what it looks like today. Um, so to make this, you can go to this website where you, um, you go to make it, and then you can search images, um, you go to image search, you do child labor industrial rev. Um, and then you're like, oh, look, that's that picture that I saw in class. And then you would modify it to fit into here. Cool. That's it. Then you would do, you could do child labor. It comes up with a picture of today. Mm, wow, those kids are really young. This is horrible. Okay. Oh my gosh. So I'm like commenting on it. Um, okay. Then you would export your image. And it goes to this weird page. I don't know why, but it does. Let's give it a little bit of time. If you um, don't know how to export, if it, the export doesn't work, you can take a screenshot of it whatever else. Um, I'm going to go back to that in a second, but then you're going to add your meme to this page. If for some reason you couldn't, um, you couldn't figure out how to work the website, you could just like make your own meme here. So you could just do like how it started, how it's going, like, and then just add, like, just add a picture here and add a picture there. You could also do that. If that's easier for you, that is totally fine. Um, you don't need to use the website if you're confused by it. But I got my picture, um, I would download it. So now I have it on my computer so then I could add it into my slide. So that's how you use that. 
Um, the next thing that you're going to do after you add your photo is you're going to be writing a paragraph, five to seven sentences. So what you're going to write about is how the issue that you read about and that you created a meme about, how this issue has changed since the Industrial Revolution. So you're going to write a claim. So you're gonna say, since, as you notice, we're using a uh, conjunction here, since the Industrial Revolution, blank has become worse or better. So let's say you read about child labor, you'd say child labor has become, and then you would write if you think it's become worse or better. Then you're going to go on and say that the Industrial Revolution was a time when blah, 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 whatever, what happened. Then you're going to explain how the issue you read about affected people during the Industrial Revolution. So you say child labor was an issue during the Industrial Revolution. Um, this was an issue because X, Y, Z, whatever. Um, this is how it affected people. Um, kids were supposed kids were working like this and that, et cetera. Then you go on and explain how this issue has changed since the Industrial Revolution, meaning the like how it's going side of the meme, what you read about. So you say this is still an issue today, and in fact, it has become better or worse. Or you could say this isn't as much of an issue today, it's become better. Um, but let's say you think it's worse. You say this is still an issue today. For example, in the reading, it says blah, 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 blah. Then finally, based on your analysis of how the issue has affected people, explain whether the Industrial Revolution has had a more positive or negative impact on the world. So you'd say, based on this information, the Industrial Revolution has had a, let's say you think negative, a negative impact on the world because it led to the increase of child labor, especially children of color in developing countries who are forced to work without any sort of pay, whatever it might be. Um, and that'll be it. So for your paragraph, there is one thing that you need to do beyond answering all these kind of questions. You need to use at least three conjunctions. We've been working on using conjunctions all, all year pretty much. Um, so you're going to pick at least three of them to use and then you'll be writing your paragraph on this slide. You'll be graded using the rubric here. So make sure you take a look at that to ensure that you've done everything. And then finally, there's multiple choice questions and you will go to the multiple choice here. And there are a few questions seven of them really short this is it you'll submit it and you'll see your grade right away that is it um i know it again looks like a lot of different slides but it really isn't that much again you're only looking at one of the issues then you're going to be making a meme and you're going to be writing about it and answering some multiple choice questions that is it for this week and um obviously let us know if you have any if you have any questions